Okay, greetings everyone, this is First Centurion 753 with the next episode of Victoria 2, Russian Empire. And we are still at a war with Persia down here in the south. This might be the last war with Persia. The final nail in the coffin here. I, think, I don't think we're going to take it all over, but uh, maybe we can make it a puppet state at the end. We're going to take over basically all the regions to save on infamy. Our infamy is getting a little bit high here. I'm going to start right away and just click play here. Watch what goes on. Uh, looks like they have an army down here. Three brigades. I have a list. I have a list of things that I want to do with my empire. I made a list. Last game. Here is the list. Okay, I found it. Oh, another one. Um, I should move you, right? Get in there. Uh, so I have to finish Persia. Finish off Persia. Annex. Uh, I can't read what I wrote. Oh, Oman territories. Down here. This is going to be the next target. Omani... Somaliland. Alright, these, yeah, I want to grab these. That will put us in a great position for the great game of Africa, the African scramble when it comes around. Are we marching? Yes, we are. Should lead to a fight? No, not yet. I could basically divide this thing, I guess. What's the other? This group. Yeah, let's just. Nope, that scared him off. Oh, peace offer from Persia. Alright. Um, I didn't even look at what I'm doing here. What is this war for? We want... Uh, Isfahan? Khorasan? I should not pronounce these words. Gilan Mazazandaran. Now you guys know how bad of a pronunciator I am. And we get all three in this deal. Take it. Done. <laughs> now, we have basically taken Persia. Now the empire, the Russian empire, is, is vast. Get out of this territory. Alright, I think we need to march south with these guys. Yeah, down there. Down to our navy, which I think I said I wanted to build more of a Persian fleet and move it to Ethiopia, is what this says. Eight. In Ethiopia, we have an army of 30,000. The question is, do I want... Oh, come on. Well, the question is, do I want to uh, continue sending more troops to Africa? 30,000, would that be enough? Is that sufficient. Probably. I think we'll send this fleet. Ooh, here we go. One transport's all they have. Yeah, so I think we'll send this fleet down there. And then uh, we'll start building a second fleet up here. We've got a lot of room here. I also on my list say that I want to recruit another 30 brigades. We've got some new brigades here. I'm going to move them to the uh, Prussian border here. We've, they've got a lot of forts on their border. I don't have any of mine. Ugh, this is just... I should definitely build them here, right? I got money. I'm going to build forts. Okay. Let me see here. Can I just do it all? Click uh, to build provinces and all. Build forts and all. States in that province. That's what I'm doing here. Let's build up our border. Infrastructure zero. Don't have any infrastructure? Jeez. We'll need that too. Well, we got a lot of building to do here as far as infrastructure is concerned. It's going to start building up railroads. Where are our capitalists? They should be building these railroads for us. One project. Yeah, I don't want to pop change. Whoa. It's a big pop change. Building a fabric factory. Oh, that's good. Let's uh, max this out and build that. Flashpoint will take. Okay. Where can I see defenses? Recruitment, colonial management, administrative management. I don't know if I can see defenses anywhere. Okay, let's do uh, forts. 
more forts. We need forts along the border. That's for sure. And I also want railroads. And we should probably get railroads down here in the Ukraine and uh, Crimea. Oh, we need railroads here. Look at that. Coal. Coal's huge. Huge. I just have to build lots of railroads. Railroad expansion is critical. Is there another... Is there a border here? No, there's no border. Okay. Let's go ahead and move this fleet to the African coast. Or to Ethiopia. Russian Ethiopia. And we're probably going to want to build more ships. Particularly... Uh, clipper ships. Clippers. 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 And clippers. And clippers. And here, commercial raider. Yes. Very good. Okay. Alright, and what's my next step? Let's see here. Nice to have a list. Oh, I guess look at those brigades. Suppress Georgian and Arjabazani movements. Ooh, I gotta look at that. I gotta look at everything before I start. There is George Arjabazani's. Shut them down. Because there, there's the threat there. And then Georgians. Shut down that liberation movement. Looks like we've also got Polish nationals, Lithuanian nationals, and Latvian nationals now. But I can't suppress anybody because I'm out of suppression points. Oh, uh, lots of international nations. That's why I need to start um, sphering more often. Let's take a look at this, the sphere situation. Alright, this all looks good. I don't need to worry about these spheres. Ah, oh, darn it. Let's take a look at our spheres. Wallachia. I think Serbia I'm well worried about. I would definitely worry about Moldova. And Egypt for sure. There's like no influence points in Egypt. Are we spending like... Is that low? I feel like that's pretty low. It's weird. Friendly with Krakow in Greece. Cordial with Holenstein. We're gonna go to war with Oman. Head jazz we have. Let's check out our spheres here. Alright, the Ottoman Empire. <laughs> Can we bring the Ottoman Empire into our sphere? Fabric factory and furniture factory. What about these guys? Better to bring them into our sphere than to... Uh, I don't know much about culture. I don't think any of these cultural groups are... I think Russian culture... There's no Russians here. Uzbeks. Lots of Uzbeks. Alright, no, we don't have a lot of Russian culture. Kazakh. I wonder what cultures are compatible, or are there ones that matter? What do we have here? Nationality? 44% Russian, 15% Ukrainian, 6% Polish. Okay, this is a very diverse nation we're ruling over here. I'm worried that that's going to be a problem. We've sphered most of the Middle East. Could we sphere the Ottomans? Where are the Ottomans as far as world power ranking? They are low. Let's see. 101 compared to Scandinavia's 169. They could still catch it. There we go. <laughs> could I sphere the Ottoman Empire? 
That would like make things interesting because the Prussians are allied with the Ottomans, but they're in our sphere. I don't know what we can do with that. That can make things a little interesting. If we sphere the Russians, furniture if completed, liquor distillery, furniture factory, regular clothes. If we sphere the Ru or we sphere the Ottomans, it's a big market. And a lot of resources. Can we force them to break their alliance? I don't think so. Well, I got a lot of money. I should be spending it. Let's go back to the infrastructure map. And let's get some railroads going. Railroad expansion is where we're at today. Is that on my list? It is. Kind of. Build capitalist factories. I did that. Consider vertical integration for military goods. We're pretty low on military goods. Check out this. We don't produce a lot of... Oh, there it is. Yeah, we're fourth in the military goods there. Fourth in ammunition. We're not even on the list in small arms. Artillery is fifth. Canned food, third. I feel like we should be a lot higher. Steel production, we are... Ugh, we are really low on steel production, too. Let's build railroads first. That'll help bring in our more resources. And it's easy to spend money on railroads because they're cheap. And we can buy them all here. Oops, I did forts. I've been doing forts. I didn't want to do forts. Okay, railroads. Limited partnership company. Expand railroads there. More railroads, more railroads, lots of railroads to be built. It's a lot easier when the capitalists did this. We've got, oh wow, I spent over $200,000 on railroads. Alright, let's put a, put a halt to that there and let the capitalists deal with the rest. Jeez. Where are you capitalists? That's what I need, I need capitalists. What is up to my population? My population, we are encouraging capitalists in Moscow. Moscow capitalists are 0.2%. We are encouraging craftsmen in Kiev, Kursk, and Kazan. And I believe the next technology, nationalism and imperialism, will give us another national focus where we'll recruit probably more... Um, best that. More fabrics. We're getting a lot of fabrics. Ottoman Empire is accusing us of things we never even heard of. Suspect the United States behind us. Ha! <laughs> the United States hit our influence in uh, the Ottoman Empire. Alright, so Kiev looks pretty good. Uh, most of these factories are filled. We're going to continue to recruit workers here because we need some more. I think we have good vertical integration as far as fabrics to f clothing, regular clothes. And I'm not seeing any military goods anywhere. Now the question is, are they in high demand though? Not in high demand, not in high demand, in high demand, artillery is in high demand. What is our situation with ammunition? We have more than we need with ammunition. Luxury clothing, we need a lot more. Ooh, we should expand luxury clothing. And I'm thinking this is the right place to do it. The problem with luxury clothing, though, is that it requires uh, silk, which I don't know if we have any silk. $15,000. Let's go ahead and begin building a luxury clothing factory. Look at these fabrics. Fabrics are needed for regular clothes, right? Yes. So we should be expanding our fabric production explosive factory. Alright, we need more iron. We have iron. Machine parts. We need machine parts. I don't have any machine parts. 
Where can I put them? Here in Kursk. Extra workers. I don't know if I can build machine parts just yet. I can build artillery, which is in demand. And we need it. There's explosives and there's steel. I need more steel. I definitely need another steel factory. Let's expand that one. Okay, so, a little industrial management there. We finished off the Persians. There's a Persian re rebellion going on. Oh, look at all these ships. And I need to recruit more troops. Where can I recruit the troops? Aha. Okay. That army looks good. Moscow. What is this? Galich. Looks like it's got a high worker population. Let me go into detail here. Let's see how many uh, soldiers we got. 16. Oh, we don't have that many. Flashpoints. I'll build an army. Russian guard. Russian guard and um, I don't want steel. I'll say dragoons. That'll help the uh, wine industry. Let's do dragoons. Russian dragoons there. And I'll do another Russian guard down here. So boost our luxury clothing industry and Russian artillery there. All right, that's another new 15, five new brigades. We want 25 more. Oh boy. Let's try down here. Russian guards. I like the guards. Let's get Russian artillery. Another Russian guard. And stick with the Russian dragoons. Alright, so that's 10 new brigades coming in. So that should be moving towards our direction. What did I want to do militarily? I think I'm not. I'm Build capitalist. Improve diplomatic ranking. I can't read my own handwriting. Grab Ethiopia tropical wood. Flashpoint right down there. All right, let's take a look at the resources. Yes, Ethiopians have this tropical wood, which is a rare resource. Sometimes turns into rubber, too, I believe. So grabbing that province from Ethiopia is the next step. We have a truce with them until June of 64. Let's speed this up. Flashpoints increased. And what about the Omanis? Oh, maybe we should go to war with Oman. We have no truce with them. Oh, let's justify war here. I don't, I don't want to... Oh, where's my... 22, I think 25. Demand concessions is what I want. Infamy acquire five points, that's nothing. Perfect. All right. We're going to go to war with Oman. I want them all to go there. Been discredited in the Ottoman Empire by the Scandinavians, who are supposed to be our allies. Let's go ahead and build another commercial raider here. And 30,000 troops there. Okay. 
Persian reactionaries have enforced their demands in Persia. We shall be known as an uncivilized nation. And uh, two economic reforms and two military reforms. All right, Cassius Belly generation has decreased. We've got five ships. I think we're gonna need to double that to get everybody out that we want. I'm gonna move one. Let's get rid of this guy. Three thousand. So 30,000 will require, I think, six total clipper ships. We've got six total clipper ships. No, that's not right. That's going to require 10 to move 30,000 troops. We don't need to move them all, though. Not on the first wave. I'll build a frigate here. Another two. That's going to put us at eight. Get another one, and another one. And let's do another frigate. That's a lot of shipbuilding. Ooh, we have somebody here. We can sphere the Ottoman Empire. No, we can't sphere the Ottoman Empire. We can uh, prove our relations with them. Increase opinion. Now I have cordial relations with the Ottoman Empire. That is hilarious. Does anybody else have anything? No. We are leading the coring the sphering effort against the Ottoman of the Ottoman Empire. Okay, sphering the Ottoman Empire. Maybe that's a good name for the series for the episode. Thank you for watching, everyone. Hope you're enjoying. Um, I didn't think I got through as many periods, as many years this episode because I was just getting things organized. But um, I'm gonna do another two. I'm gonna record another two episodes, so I should know what I'm talking about. And. Try to get through some more time here. We're going to invade Oman. Oman is the next war. So uh, make sure you tune in to the next episode to see us grab some more African colonies down here from the Omanis. Alright, thanks for watching. Please like the video if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more videos and you haven't subscribed already. You can also hit the bell button for constant updates. And there's a link to a Patreon page for anyone who would like to support me. Thank you to my Patreons, my two Patreons that are out there right now. Uh, have a great day, everyone. See you in the next episode. That's not it.